Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again today on my channel. My name is Chris with Kristen's Crafts and today we have for you the fourth process video for that June Build-A-Page series. Uh, again, I'm using an Echo Park um, collection. I think it's called Be Happy and it is absolutely adorable and I'm loving how these pages are turning out for the pictures from my daughter-in-law's baby shower. So today I am scrapbooking uh, pictures of family. I have a picture of Emily with my mom, my sister, and my niece. I have another one of Emily with my sister, my sister's um, daughter-in-law and her two grandkids. And then um, another one I believe was um, of my sister-in-law and her daughter and the newest member of our family and her middle daughter. So we had a few littles that were at the party and just happy to have a whole page that was all about family. So as you can see, I'm using the floral paper as my background and I went ahead and cut that down um, to make a frame using, and I gutted the black and polka dot paper. So it's got that, um, sharp black and yellow look with the bumblebees and the honey hives and I went ahead and matted two of the horizontal photos um, on the black paper that I had used from the gutted piece and then I double matted the picture of my sister and her daughter-in-law and two grandkids um, using the yellow in the opposite side of the green solids and so it gives a nice contrast in there now I'm just going through and seeing if there's any other scraps that I want to use. And, oh, God love the 4th of July. We have neighbors who like M80s and they make me jump every time. So you got the pleasure of that in this voiceover. Anyway, I went and found um, the... Um, yellow solid piece of paper um, that I'm going to use as a band at the bottom and now I'm just going to take this black gingham and I'm going to um, cut these down into a little bit of strips and have that at the top and the bottom. Um, I was going to go and try and have it across as you see here but I didn't like how it had a gap after the picture and so it looked like it wasn't full. I'm okay with the bottom one being over, but it looked like um, it was wrong with the top one. So here I'm just using a little bit in the corner to make it look like there's a piece of paper on the side. Now I'm just going and I'm gluing the top part down just so I can get everything kind of lined up where I want it. And then I'll glue the whole thing down afterwards. Um, by only gluing the top, it allowed me to be able to um, slide the bands underneath it and have everything um, centered and um, looking nice. So here I'm going to take this branding strip, I'm going to put that on there, um, and then I'm going to end up um, grabbing one of the border stickers um, and sticking that on as well. I'm going to have my... Um, title be sweet as honey and I'm going to use that along with this little daisy um, tag. Um, I believe the tag said hello something and what I'm going to do is pull it up so you can see the hello but I'm going to hide the bottom half because it didn't make sense for the layout. Um, I'm going to also back this um, little frame and all I did was add a little adhesive going around put it on the yellow and then I'm um, kind of gutted the back of it so that um, it gives me another like a picture frame of where I can um, add more embellishments to it and now I'm just deciding if I want to tuck it in or behind I wasn't sure because now I'm covering up a lot of that black gingham but you know when you it ends up you know it's kind of a progression and I'm happy with how it's looking and again I just kind of wanted that little section it gives it another like picture frame kind of an opportunity. So here's where I'm going to go ahead and um, tuck in the um, the um, border strip and um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going through all the embellishments seeing what I can find. Um, I have the um, 
you know, this says beautiful. And I thought, you know, all my family members look beautiful and Emily looks beautiful. And then I, um, I think this journaling box is cute as can be or something to that effect. And again, everyone was looking adorable. I'm going to grab, um, just kind of shuffle things around. I think I do um, add that journaling spot at the bottom, but I think what I'm going to end up doing is cutting it um, and then tucking it under. I think, I can't remember, things are blending together now. <laughs> or I, I think I grab, did I grab a yellow one? I don't know. So um, just kind of still going through and looking for little pieces to find. Um, this one says, be happy. I'm putting that up above. I put a couple little bees around. I grabbed that black circle that had the yellow flower on it and put that tucked behind. Um, I think this is, yeah, here's the journaling spot I'm going to end up using. And I think I end up cutting the top part of it off maybe. Or no, I, I lower it down. Oh my goodness, I am just forgetting what I did and I just did it yesterday. Um, these die cuts are so cute. Um, and so I think I've gone through everything die cut wise and kind of happy with where I have everything laid out. Um, so I'm just going to start sticking things down. I just lower this one because um, we have our um, littlest uh, family member Jackson is in the photo and uh, my sister-in-law is holding him and he was just two weeks old and you hate covering up little baby feet. You know, you just, it's those little details. You, he had the little socks on, but he's just so cute. So I didn't want to cover any of him up. So I lowered everything back down again. Um, I did grab this little branch that has the honey hive and it kind of felt like that finished it off. And then in the picture frame, I grabbed this little jar of honey and I put that in there. And now I'm just gluing down the upper pieces. And I think that's going to be it. I may put, might put another phrase sticker. Um, I think I put love you or something to that effect and a little bee because, you know, again, I'm just so happy with my family. I'm very fortunate. And now I'm moving the title that I had originally put up above, The Sweetest Honey, and I'm moving that down below. And I'm going to have that on the um, left-hand side. And to kind of help ground it, um, I think I grabbed um, the other daisy sticker so it mimics the, the journaling box up above. Now I felt like a couple of the tags were kind of blending in, so I just took my um, pen um, and I'm just going around the outside edge just to give it a little bit of a border and that's it for the layout. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back again tomorrow with actually it might not be tomorrow it will, we'll see how the um, I do with my voiceovers because tomorrow is the 4th of July. Anyways have a happy Independence Day if you are in the United States and if you're not in the United States have a wonderful day and thank you so much for stopping by.